Hello, my name is Arlene Tincher. I am the Technology Director at the Putnam County Public Library in Greencastle, Indiana. Today I'm going to show you how to get Libby installed on your Android phone and get your Libby, your Evergreen card on there so you can start downloading books and reading them um, through that, that application. This is for Android. There is a different way to do it for iPhones. It's pretty similar, but I don't have an iPhone, so I'm going to show you how to do it um, with an Android phone. One of the first things we want to do is make sure that you have your Evergreen card. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. I took a picture of mine. It's here in my gallery. So right there is what it looks like. Um, it is, you know, green. It says Evergreen uh, Indiana Library Consortium. So make sure you have that. If you don't have that, you can call the library and um, get a hold of the circulation desk and they will be glad to set you up with a new card. Um, and if you need the number to that, it's 765-653-2755. And again, you're going to want to talk to Circulation Desk. Or you can go out to our website, and I believe there's a link out there that you can actually um, get into it. And I'm going to go back to the home page. Here, and I will show you where that is. So out here, let's see, welcome to the library, get a library card. So you're going to click on that and it's going to walk you through that. So it's right on the main page, just scroll down and right there is get a library card. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you have that. If for some reason you've been trying to get this to work on your phone or even on your tablet or your laptop, because you can download this to all those kind of devices um, and it's not working, it's telling you it's not a valid card or not a valid location. Um, you've probably either A, got an old card, or B, you need to have your PIN reset. And again, you can call into the library and they can reset that PIN and get you fixed on that. So there's a couple ways you can get this app. One of them is going through the library. And you drop on that download there. And there's services. So under services, you see all the different things we have available for you. And there's the digital and downloads. And as soon as it comes up. Um, digital and downloadable resources. So you scroll down through here and you can see all the things we have to offer. And if you haven't been through here, you ought to go through and look at all the stuff. So here you see the Libby app, so you can get it right through here if you want. Or you can go out on your Android phone. Um, if you're more comfortable, go to the Play Store. And I looked it up already once. So I'm going to go back to the search. And it says Libby by Overdrive. And you're going to click on that. So it's going to give you this look. And it tells you a little bit about Libby, you know, how people rate it and that kind of stuff. Um, but you're going to go ahead and hit install. It can take a minute or two. It can take longer, depending on your phone, how old it is, um, or your tablet, or your laptop. You know, like I said, you can put that on any of them. This is a really a kind of neat little app, so you can... Uh, start seeing what's going on so here as I've already had it on here you can see uh, you know some of the things I've gotten out before uh, but here is like the shelf where you have your loans your holds and your tags so if you hit in this you can go see your loans you get this you got your holds and here you have tags and I don't really use that so I can't really tell you too much about it um, but what you're going to do is you're going to click up here on this little round icon and it's going to bring up here to where you can add your library and add your library card. So you can add a library card. It's going to come up. Now mine has already searched for Putnam County Public Library. But what it would do, um, if you didn't have that there, it would give you the drop down list. So like here, if I choose another location that I want to add to it, you can see where it has it all. You know, Putnam County Public Library is in there. So what you'll find is on this location here, it have in there which just says choose a location. And you're going to drop that down and do that. So there it is on that. So then I'm going to put in my library card number, which is located on the back of your card. And it takes me a minute to get that in. I would do music while we wait, but I've been told my voice is not that wonderful to wait on. So there you put that in, you hit next, 
And then you're going to put in your pen. And again, this is where some people get into trouble because uh, they put it in and it doesn't register it. Or, um, you know, it may be a wrong one or something. So I put in mine because I know what it is. Um, if you have trouble with that, again, call the library and they can reset that for you. So here it shows you that your card is in there. Um, you can rename the card or do whatever. And if you hit next, it takes you right back here to this site where you can go out and you can look at your loans. Um, you can synchronize. You can read books. You can set that to read with Libby. Um, you know, so you can have it that way. If you get holds, which is this one I selected in here to do this with, um, I'm going to manage my hold. I'm going to cancel it. So see, it shows you right there. It's gone. So now, let's see. I want to see if I can get a hold, if I can remember how to do this. So if you hit library, it takes you back to the Indiana Digital Download Center, which is where everything for Libby goes through. Um, you know, and this, you can go up here, you can search for a book, and I'll put in Gone with the Wind again. And it starts finding it right away. So there you have different things that you can see. Here is a um, digital one that's, uh, that's going to that's gonna read to you, so it's audio. Um, here's another one that's like the one I just placed on there and then it has some different things It's going to bring up, you know anything with gone with the wind or with the wind or or by that author um, Something like that so you can put place a hold So it's going to show you your library card number and it says down here. You should be ready to borrow this in about eight weeks So there you go and it gives you the different uh, the different options here. You can read, you can suspend it, go to browsing, keep browsing. Uh, so let's say if I want something that hopefully, uh, let's see, who I like to read, Nora Roberts. Let's see if she's got any books out here. So that's a place a hold, place a hold, place a hold. If it's available to where you can read it, it's going to show you where it has the borrow and you can just go ahead and hit borrow and it's going to say borrow and then you do that you can open the book right then and there and start reading you can keep browsing or you can go back to your shelf so I'm going to go down here I'm going to touch this again and I'm going to show you um, where you can see your library cards if you have your old library card uh, the one we previously had before switching over to Evergreen it's going to be listed in here as well um, and that's where you know, sometimes the software gets a little scrambled and it gets messed up. So you need to actually go ahead and get rid of it. So what you would do is you would tap on that card, just like this is my new one. But if my old one had been in here, I would have tapped on, you know, that card and brought it up to look like this. And under actions, you've got verify, rename, or remove. And what you would do is you would remove that card. So that is one of the ways that you can make sure that you've got it um, set up. There's a nice tutorial that uh, shows you some things here where you can learn about Libby. You can read books with, again, you know, it sets you up. You can either read it with your Kindle or you can read it with Libby or you have no preference. So you can say, you know, have no preference and it's, you know, do whichever you need to do. So again, you hide that and, you know, there's some books out there for you to look at. So you go back to the library and you can just kind of, you know, browse through there and see what's going on. So again, this was just installing the Libby app on your Android phone. Um, I hope this gives you a, a, some information. I know a lot of people have a lot of problems, you know, getting that new Evergreen card on there. And I kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, um, you need some, you know, technical help, you need a little help with this, you can go ahead and reach out to us at PCPL21.org. Look under the library tab on the pet webpage. And then you'll be able to find uh, where it says staff at the drop down, which I can show you that. So we're back here. And you can go to your home page. Or you can even look at it through here. And it says, click on that again. Let me pull that up. It's thinking. I click a lot faster than I talk most time. So here's about the library. It talks different things uh, about the library. And then here it shows our staff. So you can click on that. And it's going to come up and it's going to show you um, how to reach 
these departments. So I am obviously in the technology department, being the technology director. So that is my email and that is my phone number with my extension. So you can always get a hold of me, uh, especially through email. I check it all the time, even if I'm not at work. Um, you can just reach out to me and see what's going on. So I hope this was um, helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please, you know, reach out to us. Again, the phone number for the Putnam County Public Library is 765-653-2755. Thank you so much.